Welcome to this tutorial today. We want to look at something interesting on how we can install Google Classroom to our devices. Before we proceed, kindly subscribe down there. Subscribe, hit a subscription uh, box, and uh, we'll be able to get a new uh, update that we put in this channel. Feel free to subscribe. Now today we want to use the Play Store. Play Store. If you are using Android phone, you will use Play Store to get Google Classroom application. So a Play Store app looks like that. Now what you need to do is uh, you click on uh, Play Store, and you see that in the Play Store we have many many applications. But in this case, we want Google Classroom uh, application. So in the search part, search part, third particular bar, the search bar, you need now to type Google Classroom. So you type here, Google Classroom. So what you need to do after that, you can see orange the option of google classroom have just uh, popped up there so what you need to do next is now to click on it you click on it and therefore you see that google classroom is there you can see it is very small manageable it's 12 mbs and you can see some of the ratings the ratings and now you what you need to do is just it install because you want to install it so you click on install and then uh, it will start installing to start installing now if you look at uh, here and down here we have the ratings of the ratings and reviews for this so you can always check down here what other users have commented on this and both positive and negative views they are there so what you see here our google classroom is uh, downloading and this is the four percent seventy one percent so it runs very fast it runs very fast and uh, within a few seconds we can uh, have google classroom installed in our in our device so oh, after installing this that's what happens so you see here <laughs> when you install the opposite is uninstall of course you don't want to uninstall and there is open we are interesting with using the the application so we click on open we click on open and you have opened your google classroom now the next step is now having downloaded and installed the google classroom application now how do you start get started so you click on this particular button say get started get started so when you click on it get started you have you have to choose a particular uh, email that will use as identity so for this case here i'll take one and i say okay so what happens when you do that so the key thing is that the google classroom uses your email as identity and this particular email is gmail google mail google mail because google classroom is an application for google from google from google so you can see here in this case here after logging i don't have any class so because i don't have any class maybe i have 
I have a con that I, uh, a class that I can join, so I'll use that one. But you see that I don't have any classes, so that what happens. So I'll have only this. You can try another account, but for yours, if you have like this, that basically what you need to see. So suppose now I want to create or join a class. So if I want to join or create a join a class, I list this positive sign here. When I use it, what happens? I see they, there is two options. There is create class, that's if you are a trainer or a teacher, and there is join a class if you are a trainee or you are a student for that matter. So in this case, if suppose I'm a teacher, I'll create a class. So how do I create a class? That's the next thing. So how to create a class in this case here is I'll have options here, a class name. I want to have a class name. So this class may be talking about sociology or how to, how to. So it's a Google classroom training, Google classroom training. So that is my class training session how to install how to install google classroom application room maybe in general and the subject here is key points to not so you fill those one so this may be like that so what i need to do next is basically tap create tap create and therefore i'll have created a class i'll have created a class i'll have created a class So you can see I have created a class or a class here, say uh, Google Classroom Training class. So now what I need to do is just tap on it, tap on it, and you'll find that the class have three basic parts. There is stream. There is classwork and there is people. So stream is how your work that you are going to do there. So it will have classwork and the people. Classwork is all anything that you are going to share. To share in your, in your training or in your class. And then the people are your trainees trainees and or students for that matter students students so when you tap in class in classwork you'll find all your hack there if you go to people you'll find both teachers and find both teachers both teachers and the students there so next thing you can invite your students remember if you are you uh, you have to invite your students or your trainers they need to have a email particularly google email that uh, google mail which is gmail so you tap it there or else you can also share through their this link so this link, particular class, the invitation link, you can send them to your emails or to their messages or whichever method that you'll use. You can copy it or you can share it direct. So if you share, what happens? If you share, you see it prompts you to have a nearby kind of sharing. You can share it with WhatsApp. Classroom itself. 
uh, Facebook, and so on. You can even also copy. When you copy, you see the link has been copied. Then you take it to where you want, either to social media platform like Facebook and so on. So that's basically how you need to do with Google Classroom. Kindly remember to subscribe to this channel so that you get getting more and more trainings on how to do these kind of applications. Thank you for now. Until next time.